How often is there diseases related to food consumption? How do we know um, what food causes which disease? And how do we know uh, why we get these diseases? Where do they come from? Let thy food be thy medicine. So advised Hippocrates, the father of medicine, some 2,000 years ago. Indeed, a good diet is critical for good health. But food can also make us sick in several ways. Food can have natural components that can make us sick, or it can harbor microbes, or there can be inadvertent contaminants. When it comes to natural components, for example, gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, or rye, can make people sick if they suffer from celiac disease. A large percentage of the world's population suffers from an intolerance to lactose. That's a sugar that is found in milk. Then there are people who get headaches from uh, the tyramine found in red wine or in cheese. However, most frequently adverse reactions are due to microbes in food. And these can be bacteria like Salmonella, uh, Legionella, uh, E. coli, uh, Listeria, a whole range of them. And then there are viruses like the hepatitis A virus. These can be found in soil, in fecal matter, or in water. And from there, they can contaminate food. There's also the problem of mycotoxins, which are produced by molds that can grow on corn or on peanuts. And these are potentially carcinogenic. Then we have the inadvertent contaminants, like pesticides. Many different pesticides are used to grow crops, and trace residues of these can remain behind on the food. So what can we do to try to curb foodborne illness? Well, first of all, washing produce is very important under running water. Don't forget to wash your melons before you cut them, because the knife can transfer microbes from the outside to the inside. When it comes to cooking, make sure that you heat foods at least to about 60 degrees Celsius. That will kill bacteria and inactivate most viruses. And of course, when handling food, don't forget to wash your hands. Taking these precautions can certainly reduce very significantly the risk of foodborne illness.